Hi everyone, so I thought I'd make another little grooved cabochon tutorial and this time I wanted it to be something really basic and simple for beginners, something that doesn't require any weaving and only uses just one piece of round wire. So this is what I came up with and if you want to see how I made it, just keep watching. So I'm using one piece of 20 gauge wire and this is the only wire that I'm going to be using, just this one little piece, probably can be a little shorter but mine's about 8 inches and it is just dead soft round copper wire, mine is from um, Rio Grande and what you want to do, oh I'm sorry, also my cabochon, <laughs> it's a pretty small one and it is three quarters of an inch or about 20 millimeters tall just a little oval cabochon like this so we're gonna bend our wire or just find kind of the middle of your wire see the groove there we're just gonna put it into the groove and just kind of bend the wire around the stone pushing it into the groove and when you get to the top here let me just hold it this way so you can see so push it all the way up against the stone so you don't have like a gap or anything when you get to the top it's going to kind of crisscross like this so you're going to take with your fingers you're going to take them and you're going to bend them like this forming like a little twist now you can tighten it up with your pliers the nice thing about the twist is it tightens the wire so then it feels more secure around the stone but if your stone doesn't feel too secure you can tighten the twist up just be careful um, with your pliers because if you twist really hard or press down on it really hard the wires can actually snap so I'm just trying to be gentle and I made another little twist and now it's really really tight around my stone my stone is not going anywhere so all that's left to do now is to make our bale so you can either do this by hand or you can use some round nose pliers to help you get the shape but you want to make a shape of a circle so if you're using your round nose pliers you would just be bending around like that to make your circle. I just want it to be a little bit smaller so I'm just going to use my regular pliers to just kind of close up that circle a little bit. There we go. So just play around, get it to however you know however you like, whatever looks good to you. I mean it doesn't have to be a perfect circle either. It can be like an oval or whatever you like the look of but you want them to just be similar and you want the wires to end up you know going in this direction afterwards so you want it to go all the way around and then in this direction so here is what mine is looking like just gonna adjust a little bit until it looks nice and even kind of is looking like an owl <laughs> owl pendant and so now we're just gonna take these wires and we're gonna bend them if you want you can hold with your pliers like this so that makes it easier for you and just bend down and down in this direction and then here on the back you've got your little wire ends so you're just gonna cut them and leave yourself uh, just a little bit just a few millimeters so I'll show you see that little end of mine that's sticking up so the reason I left myself a little end is because I want this little end to be tucked away to be in here so see how I kind of push down on it a little bit I'm gonna keep squishing it and pushing down on it until it kind of closes all the way up and isn't visible from the front either so you want to just push on it 
like this. So now the wire end isn't sticking out the front or the back. We kind of hidden the wire end. So same thing here. Pushing that in, pushing it down, making sure it doesn't stick out the front. And now we've made this little owl looking pendant. And the way that you wear this is there's two different ways. So you take your cord necklace, my clasp actually broke off, so ignore that. <laughs> but you can either put it in like this and then out the other end and it'll look like this. Or let's take that back out. You can put it in the other direction. So in and then out. And it's just an ever so slightly different look to it like this. So it's up to you which way you like, which way you prefer. Uh, but that's it. This is just a very basic, simple way using one piece of wire, how to make um, a grooved, how to turn a grooved cabochon into a pendant. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.